Well, the rumours were true. Makita 64 volt max batteries are here. G'day guys and gals, the rumours were true, Makita have released in this part of the world, I was quite surprised, didn't think they would release it in New Zealand, but they have, the 64 volt max batteries are out, and the charger, so far just the two OPE tools for this, two lawn mowers, an 18 inch and a 21 inch, well they call it an 18 inch, but it's almost 19 inch actually, it's 480 millimetres, and the other one is 530 millimeters. According to Makita New Zealand, it is 60% faster to cut with the LM001J than it is over the 18x2 or 36 volt model. But they don't tell you which model they're actually talking about. So it's a quick lightweight mower, all plastic, has a top RPM of 3200 and it also has a quiet mode um, which runs at 2500. How much difference that makes, who knows. With the one and only battery that has been released thus far, it will give you 1400 square meters of cut grass, which seems pretty good. I'd be happy with that. That'd do my property quite a few times over. And it'll give you a constant run time of 34 minutes. Now let's take a look at the battery and charger. This is a Makita LXT 18 volt battery that most of you will be familiar with. This is a Makita 40 volt XGT battery, which a lot of you will now be familiar with. This is a 5 amp hour one, as you can see, much bigger for a 5 amp hour 40 volt than a 18 volt. How big is a 64 volt 4 amp hour battery? Well, that's how big it is. That is one beast of a battery. Now, this isn't actually the real battery, in case you hadn't quite worked that out. You don't, they don't come in pink, they're black. So it's not going to look quite like that, it'll look like this. But I made up this mock just as a size comparison so you can see how big it is against other batteries. So this is a 40 volt 2 amp hour which is the same size as the 2.5 amp hour. There's your 18 volt. Looking on the ends. This is made to the measurements that are on Makita New Zealand's website. So if you look at that, significantly bigger than a 5 amp hour 40 volt battery. I don't have the 8 amp hour to put it up against yet, but it's still going to be bigger than the 8 amp hour 40 volt. Why is it so big? Because surely, if it's 64 volt max, it's actually only 57.6 volts. You divide that by 3.6, you get 16. So you could make a 64 volt max battery with 16 cells. Yet, this battery has 2018 650s in it. This one, with all that extra space, must be double the 16, i.e. 32 18650 cells in a battery that is an absolute monster in size. According to Makita on their website, it's only 1 kg. I find that very hard to believe because just this timber was 1 kg and surely the battery cells are a bit heavier than dry pine. And this one is, what's this, 1.2 kgs I think? So it's got to be more than 1 kg, surely. Yeah, this one, 1.3, over 1.3 kgs. So add another 12 cells to that. Surely this is going to be more like 2 kgs. So the one and only battery is the BL... Oh, it's not even on there. Is the BL6440, 64 volt, 4 amp hour. And it, I guess we better write 4 amp hour on there as well. There we go, 4 amp hour. And with that many volts and that many amp hours, you want to know the watt hours, which is usually written on the back or the bottom, eh? We'll write it on the back here. 230.4 watt hours. And a battery that size, with that many watt hours, that amp hour, takes you two hours to charge on the charger. The charger looks like this. Whether Makita make any tools apart from mowers on this system is yet to be seen. At the moment it's a way for people to get a battery mower who don't already use the 18 volt or the 40 volt system and you know don't use power tools and stuff they're just a homeowner that needs a battery lawnmower so will we see it in other tools it's hard to say it's that battery is somewhat off-putting in size i guess you could stick it in a couple of other things but Hey, it looks pretty monstrous to me. I wouldn't want to be lugging around a battery that size inside a weed eater or a blower or anything, so I don't know what else they could really do with it. Let me know down below what you could envisage Makita using a battery that size in.
bearing in mind this is not their premium system that this is so they're unlikely to make a concrete cutter or anything like that that takes this when they're releasing the 40 volt max ones and the 80 volt two of those so you know it's it's a little bit odd and I think it is only going to be for homeowners that need a mower although surely lots of people that need a mower also need a weed eater, a hedge trimmer, a blower, that sort of thing. So why wouldn't it be better just still to stick with one of these two tried, tested, proven systems? I don't know. Do you think it's a good idea? Let's have a bit more of a look at the features of the mower, seeing as that's all there is available so far. Top speed 3200, like I said, lower speed 2500, that's for the 01. The 02 is running at a lower speed it's got a wider blade. When things get bigger in blade size, the RPMs come down because our things start flying apart. You need a lot more torque to spin a bigger blade, so the speeds are usually lower. So the 21 inch version only has a max RPM of 2800, and in the quiet mode runs at 2300 RPM. But because the blade's a little bit bigger, you can cut 200 square meters more with the O2 than you can with the O1. It has 10 different cutting heights between 20 millimeters and 100 millimeters. That's like three quarters of an inch up to four inches. I'm saying it in inches, but I don't know if this will ever be released in America. Maybe it will, I don't know. So far at the moment, I think it's just Europe and New Zealand. It's not on the Australia website yet. So I'm not sure if Australia are doing it. The O1 comes in at 24 kgs and has a decibel rating of 92.5. As well as cut, it also mulches and it does have an interesting little feature on the grass collection bag. Don't think I've ever seen that before. So there you have it, that is definitely true. The new Makita 64 volt max is a thing. And no, this isn't an April Fool's joke because it's not April Fool's here anymore. Not in this part of the world, maybe it is where you are. But it ain't here. I know this looks like a, like a really budget, <laughs> super budget April Fool's joke. But trust me, it's not. It's the real deal. You're into Makita stuff and you like Makita reviews, particularly 40 volt max stuff. That's what I'm pumping out flat out at the moment. Take a look down there. Heaps more videos. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you on another one soon. Cheers, guys. I've never had a double miter station before. I can cut both ends of a piece of wood without having to move the bit of wood. Luxury. First cut.